Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to be walking through Activity 5-7, Restricting Access with Deny Permissions. This is from the MCSA Guide to Installing and Configuring Microsoft Windows Server 2012 R2. In my edition of the book, this activity begins on page 170. Um, a little bit of background for this. Um, a new employee has just been hired in the sales department. The company policy policy states that all employees must be with the company for a minimum 120 day probationary period before being allowed access to confidential material. This new employee should have access to all the non-confidential material and therefore be a member of the sales G group. That's a group we created in the previous activities for this chapter. Your solution is to create a group called Deny Sales G and add new users to this group. You then add this group to the DACL of any confidential folders and assign the deny full control permission. After the user has passed the probationary period, you can remove this user account from the deny sales G group by using a group instead of the user account to deny access. You don't need to hunt down all the confidential folders and remove the user account from their DACLs individually. So to begin, we log into our server as an administrator. I'm running a virtual machine here in VMware. So here's my server. I'm logged in as the administrator currently. And the first thing we're going to do is create a user and that deny sales G group. Um, there's a handful of ways to do this. One of the quickest I found is just to go into your local users manager. And so in here we come into users and create a new user. This can be sales2. Go ahead and leave the password blank. So there's our user account. We then need to create a group. See, so we have our marketing and our sales groups here. So we're going to create a new group. This is going to be called Deny Sales G, and it's going to include Sales 2. So that way we have the, the group, and that user is part of the group now. Alright, so we're done with that. Next thing, we want to open up our file explorer and go into our volume one, which is mounted as the P drive currently. This is going to be a shared section here, so each of these can be accessed um, from the users over like a shared drive. So in here, we want to open up the meeting docs, or the sorry, marketing docs. We want to right click on sales only and select properties. Bring that up a little bit. Then we want to go to security, hit edit here once it loads. And then we want to add that group that we just created, deny sales G, hit check names and hit OK. And we see it here we want to deny full control. And so this will prevent users in that group from accessing anything inside of this folder. Alright, so we hit OK. We see that deny entries take precedence over allow entries, even if they're in another group that allows them access. This will deny the access. So that's fine. Uh, I did skip one little step. I'm going to open back up my user management. In here, we also want to add Sales2 to the Sales G group. So that way they'll have all the same rights as the Sales G group, except on this one subfolder where they are now denied access. Alright, so then we want to log off and log back in as sales2. The new account. I'm probably going to get a little message here from VMware. this loads up. Alright, so let's go straight into 
into it. We want to access that share. Oh, here's our VMware. And that's on the local server as marketing docs. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. This so shows the user can get to here. Um, we should be able to create new documents here. See that we can. And then when we try to open that sales only with the confidential documentation, we should get an error message saying that we do not have access. Looks like that's everything for this activity. I just want to see if we can get in and view. So we have absolutely no rights to do anything. We can't even view permissions, um, let alone make any changes to them. So that way, a new employee to the company can access what they need to for work here, and we can separate out our confidential documents until their permissionary period is completed. Um, that wraps up this activity. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, please feel free to leave them below. And hopefully I'll see you all in my next video.